exactly is the metaverse? Tech players from Facebook parent Meta to Microsoft have all talked up this virtual world and its potential for their businesses, from commerce to entertainment. Mentions of Metaverse increased by more than 135% in Q4 2021 earnings calls as Facebook rebranded to Meta last October, according to analytics company Global Data. Yet there is still confusion and debate over what exactly the Metaverse is, with some experts saying there is no consensus on the term. To some, entering the Metaverse includes trying on clothes in augmented reality as you shop, and to others it's interacting and collaborating in a meeting using avatars. But the idea of being able to move seamlessly between the real world and more virtual one in a single metaverse is the eventual goal. What is the metaverse? Simply put, the metaverse is a virtual reality world where users can interact, game and experience things as they would in the real world. Using current R and VR tech, they can immerse into this world and interact with overlaying objects and people in the visual projected in front of them. The sci-fi term combines meta and universe to refer to the concept that there is a network of these universes or worlds. You might have recognized similar themes in movies like Ready Player One or TV shows like Black Mirror, in which characters plug in and enter a different world, maybe even have a whole other life. Most of the time the metaverse will be an overlay on your real life and activities. Everything from banking, to learning, to entertainment, to commuting, to doing business, interacting with friends, Gaming will all be enhanced through the metaverse, and eventually the two will seamlessly merge where you will not be able to tell if you're in the real world or metaverse world. There's also some debate over what the term refers to, it could be used as a broad term for any immersive virtual environment or a bunch of virtual worlds in one universe. Meta's Mark Zuckerberg would like to have it the latter way, and for his company to ideally be the provider or platform supporting those various services. So how do you get there? Right now, it's through somewhat clunky hardware, such as our glasses or a VR headset like Oculus. A lot of companies are building their own wearable devices to be able to implement these experiences. In recent years, Snap has been working on its R glasses, spectacles, while on the gaming side Sony offers a PlayStation VR headset and Microsoft has its own HoloLens device. Meta's Oculus has also introduced several headset products operated in conjunction with controllers so users can speak to other users, grab objects or walk and fly around. Other startups are also looking to build products that will provide tactile feedback and TVs that would allow users to display their NFTs and other virtual objects. In a way, these are all building blocks to the larger, evolving metaverse. Why does this matter? There are many potential applications for the metaverse, some of the early ones being online gaming, social networking, enterprise and retail. Down the line, we could see more businesses moving into the entertainment space to produce events or build platforms and tools for work collaboration. There are many applications, but perhaps the most important at this moment is that it enables a virtual creator economy. It enables anyone to create anything virtual and be able to get paid for it by other users, Chan said. Clark Boyd, head of strategy at AI startup Kadira, also points to retail as a potential growth area. With the virtual retail world, shoppers don't have to physically go from store to store to find items, which gives them a lot more variety and saves time. Right now, brands are selling virtual versions of their physical products in the metaverse. Next, we will see metaverse exclusives of clothing ranges, but there is so much more room for experimentation if we see that the economics of the virtual world are entirely different, Boyd said. In gaming, the future metaverse could also be a place for creators and gamers to make money as ambassadors or esports competitors. Many view gaming as the most developed part of the metaverse at the moment. From strategy to shooting games and VR chatrooms to multiplayer experiences, games are already offering an immersive environment that users find familiar. Thank you for watching.